Hi guys, today we are going to give you some instruction of the installation, the operation and the maintenance of Aquark Inverpep Puhi Pump. This is Aqua's latest Inverpep Turbo Puhi Pump. Mr. Perfect, firstly let's find out what it has on the unit and its accessories. Our controller provides simple operation with advanced data monitoring. It combines full panel tempered glass and responsive back lighting for a highly sophisticated appearance. Water inlet and water outlet on the right side, evaporator on the back. In our standard accessory package, you will find one pair of water unions, one set of genus kit and one user manual. We can also provide some optional accessories like rubber feet, stainless vibration absorber, and winter cover if you want to decorate your heat pump well. Please pay attention that in most countries, normally we use 50 mm size of water pipes. In some countries, it might be 48.3 mm size. Hard pipes are more recommended than soft pipes because soft pipes are not able to support the water pressure and weight that will lead to possible damage on the water connection position after some times of use. Ok, let's get started now. To guarantee enough space for the air circulation, the Inverpet Puhi Pump should be installed in an appropriate ventilation place. The back and both sides have a minimum distance of 0.5 meter. There should be 1 meter from the front and 1.5 meter from the upside. The longer, the better. Having enough installation distance is very important, or the heating performance might be affected. Please do not have any obstacle that will block the airflow on the air inlet or outlet area. Ensure the recirculation of air, otherwise the heat pump may take longer time to heat the pool to your target temperature. Before you turn on the heat pump, please make sure your water pump has already been running. Otherwise, the heat pump will display E3 error code, which means no water protection. In such situation, the compressor will not start in order to protect the device. Also, if you want to turn off the heat pump, please keep the water pump running before you turn it off. Before you operate the Inverpad to heat pump, please remember to unlock the screen first. If no controller operation within 30 seconds, the screen will lock automatically. At this moment, the other buttons will be dark except for the lock button. Press lock button for 3 seconds to unlock the screen. The whole screen and all buttons will light. Now you can see all buttons displaying on the controller. On and off button. Speed mode button. There are three different speed modes, silence mode, perfect mode, and power mode. The speed mode you choose will display on this icon. Temperature setting. Press up button and down button to set the target temperature you need. Model selection. If your model has heating and cooling function, you can also select heating, cooling, or auto mode by this button. From the LCD screen, you can see the value of water inlet and outlet temperature. Here, the inlet temperature is exactly the pool temperature. You can also see the speak icon 
mode icon and compressor speed percentage icon. From power mode, perfect mode, to silent mode, the maximum percentage is 100%, 80%, and 50%. Before you start all the steps, please make sure that your cell phone is connected to a third-party Wi-Fi, otherwise the connection operation will not work. Download the Invergo app on App Store or Google Play. It's specifically developed for aircraft's inverter pulley pumps. Open the app and register with your cell phone number so that the app can record your settings and add family accounts. Log in to your account and allow the app to use your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Click Add Device. You will see the icon of your nearby pulley pump. Click it and go to Add. It will show the information of the third-party Wi-Fi your cell phone is connected to. If it's cracked, just click Next. Now your app is pairing the nearby pulley pump. That will take about 10 seconds. When a green icon appears, your app is paired to the pulley pump successfully. Click Next and Done. Now you are seeing the operation interface of your pulley pump app. To set the temperature, you can move this circle slider. The set temperature value will change with your operation. To change the running speed mode, you can click the fan button. There will be three modes of speed for your choice. Power mode, perfect mode, and silence mode. To check the specific running speed, you can see the value below the compressor icon. To change the working mode, heating, cooling, or auto mode, you can click the sun icon below. If you want to make a working preset plane for your pulley pump, you can click the clock icon, add a new plane, adjust the start time and date, then switch on. If you want to add a member to control the pulley pump together, it's easy to. The new member will need to download the app first and sign in with cell phone number and create an account first. After that, it's your turn to operate. Click the menu button at the top right corner first, then click Shell device, add sharing, shell with the account in Virgo, and put the new member's cell phone number that she or he used to log in. Click Done and add sharing. Now you can see the new member's account appearing on the operation interface. Click it and done. Now the new member can control the pulley pump too. When the environment temperature is low and air humidity is too high in the winter, or when there is no enough space for the air circulation, it may get frosting on the fins and the copper pipes of the evaporator. When the frost is too heavy, it will affect the effect of heating, so the pulley pump needs to defrost. Usually, Aquac's inverter pulley pump has a preset automatic defrosting mode. When it meets the following conditions, in the same time, the automatic defrosting mode will be activated. 1. The environment temperature is down to 14 Celsius degree. 2. The temperature of the copper pipe in the evaporator is as low as minus 7 Celsius degree. 3. The running time of the inverter pulley pump is more than 30 minutes. When the machine is auto defrosting, this heating sign will flash, and it will return to previous working mode when it finishes the defrosting. Besides the automatic defrosting mode, you can choose to do the defrosting too when you need. It's called the forced defrosting mode. To enter the forced defrosting mode, the compressor must be working for more than 10 minutes. In heating mode, you can press these two signs on the touch controller at the same time for 5 seconds. The interval between two manual defrostings should be more than 35 minutes. The working principle and the end way of automatic and manual defrosting are the same. Most of the time, when there is some malfunction happening on your pulley pump, you will need to check the C parameter and give feedback to the technicist so that he can judge the malfunction reasons. Let's see how to check the C parameter. When the machine is on the running status, you can press this sign for 5 seconds to enter the checking mode, during which the display will show the symbol C0 and its corresponding value. You can press the up and down buttons to check different parameters. 
If you want to quit the running status checking mode, just press this button. And the below table will explain the meaning of each C parameter.